Okay, head stamp swap. Head stamp swap for Jock, Mr. Jock Hodson of Kelpie. Oh, I hope I pronounced that the right there, Jock. Anyway, Yamaha stem, Yamaha yoke, Suzuki, Suzuki stem. That's the bit I wanted, so I got rid of that. Got the bottom yoke and machined up, and I'll insert some pictures. But that is a stainless steel stepped sleeve, so that allows me to get to the not only the diameter of the factory Yamaha stem. That shoulder there is because the width of these two yokes is different. It puts the bearing on the bearing surface at the right place then, and which means the bearing is on the right place at the top. And the factory locking nut and also a spacer. It's actually a little bit unusual in that way, but it goes in the factory yoke and then it's clamp retained now its diameter was if we come back to this one too big for this suzuki top yoke would have been too thin at the back so what i've done kept a minimal amount that i needed I've machined it down. So from about 36 down to 32. And then I just machined the yoke to accept it. Yeah. Also, the length from this shoulder to the top, this was actually thinner than the factory Yamaha one. So I just adjusted the length and that will go in the bottom of the yoke like that. And that allows me to just retain it with a cap head bolt like that and that will keep it all clamped together so to make that work with the polo factory yamaha stem another bit of stainless just to plug interference fit i'll lock tight it in as well um m8 to suit the m8 cap screw and that will just retain like that so this will again just press from the bottom with the factory um, interference fits and it's just held there all by shoulders and interference fit I'll install that in there after I've installed the plug for the top and give those bearings a little bit of liquid grease and it should be able to go, we'll go back to the ah also he doesn't quite know where he'll need the steering stop on the finished bike. So the factory Suzuki points were actually pretty close that I drilled and tapped an M6. And look here. I'll be able to use M6 for the lock nut in there. And you can actually just, by the length of the bolt and where he locks it up at, He'll be able to just set the steering stop where he needs it. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty close where it is anyway. Anyway, I'll get it together and have a look at it. Yeah,